Hello, welcome. Welcome back to Send Him Off after a little bit of a, a sabbatical being two or three weeks. We are back. We, of course, being myself, Sam, and my ever present podcasting partner, Alex. Good to be back. Yeah, can we have no more of these sabbaticals now? I'm I'm done with them. I gotta be honest. I just want to keep recording, yeah, keep so enjoying this. Tennis. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're back. Um, we're not alone, Sam. We're not. We're Do the never intro. alone anymore. It's, it's nice. Yeah, I know. Me. Yeah, I know. It's nice to have um, company, isn't it? Yeah, we're joined by another another comedian to add to our collection. We love it. We've got a, we are collecting. Like them. we've got comedians' heads on sticks. Honestly, it's we just have, like comedian. Uh, don't worry though. Um, I was yeah. <laughs> I was going to say all, comedian not, graveyard. Not literally. Um, it's because all comedians think that their opinion on football is better than the average person. That's why. <laughs> Any excuse to come on and put their like badly thought through ideas on paper. That's what they want. Uh, and we're all Pete, for it. Pete, <laughs> we're joined today, by the way, by Peter Selwood. Peter Selwood. Um who your opinion is already gone up in my estimations for being a Barnsley fan. I yeah. like that. Support your local, you know. Uh I like it. So none of this Liverpool Chelsea nonsense. Oh yeah, like I, I noticed that we've not we're not doing an episode on Barnsley because you're aware that you still want listeners and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, we we try not to talk about the swans to be honest with you yeah, because do, you know we do try not to. Yeah, no one yeah, listens yeah. to them either. <laughs> we always do end up though. So yeah. I want to start. Uh, obviously, we we're, we're chatting. This about is the news, by the way, for anybody news, that yeah, you know very, hasn't very read the title. Segment. It's it's going to be just Rory Fallon based banter. Actually, <laughs> fair enough. Um, <laughs> I want. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to start with um, a certain Norwegian, uh, being Erling Haaland. Who I mean, like I don't even know where to start at this point. It, We've even... already. I was going to say, me and Sam, we've already spoke about this. Pete, I want to know what you think about him. It, he he excites me because, like, right, you know, because like he's never going to play against my team, so I just get to enjoy. <laughs> I get to. I'd love him to play against Barnsley and see if he could get ten. <laughs> Do you think? Like, I I I genuinely wonder that. Like, he got like hat trick after hat trick after hat trick in September to October. Like, he had three hat tricks on the bounce. I wonder if he came like dropped down a couple of leagues. Like, how many goals would he score in a game in a half? Even yeah, but it, it's interesting because like I think he'd probably get five in a half. But then I also reckon that if he went on Talk Sport, there'd be some old fella reckoning that someone in League Two would get too close to him, yeah, and rough him yeah. up like he's not just Adriano on peer like Pro Evo five. <laughs> <laughs> in That's a form. reference. Yeah, well, he, he, you just can't touch him. Like, there's nothing you can do. Like, my He's my so mate, strong. yeah, my mate Jack like ring rang me up the other day to talk about him because he said his missus was bored about him talking about him. <laughs> this was was your mate. Like, um, I saw this TikTok and it was this this girl like um like recording her boyfriend. I don't suppose that was him, was it? Like, you just no, came it in, was oh, like Harlan's. Like, it sounds a bit like your accent. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not generalizing the whole north, but no, <laughs> we all sound alike. Um, yeah. No, he just rang me and he was like, but it, it's it's almost like, you know, when we're like, I go, I can't believe that like women go mad for like, you know, like screaming at like Harry Styles and stuff. Yeah. We're all doing the same thing. Yeah. We we are, we are all doing the exact same really thing. Harlan, same thing yeah. Everyone's going like, yeah. it's like, you don't even support his team, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's But he's an animal, isn't he? But you know what? I think there is an appeal, like, you know, away from football. I, I have seen like a few like girls, Instagram, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. I think they're all a bit into Harland as well. It's a bit the, of a sex appeal there. I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the strength as well, and also just like what what I do when I'm watching football is I, my miss has no interest, but if I can if I can throw in an interesting narrative, she can get into it quite a lot. So weirdly, she loved the Sunderland documentary, and we've now like watched loads of like watching the Wrexham one. Now I yeah. have to keep reminding her that they are the baddies. You have to remember that. Uh, At the end of the day, like, I they know, are. I actually... don't know about that in our neck of the woods. I, I quite yeah, like. Yeah, we. I quite we we, we love. Yeah, okay. Uh, Right. If you're Maidenhead, who are the baddies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, it's, that's we, true, we yeah. Like that, fair enough. But they're putting well. Yeah, yeah, like the Sulphur documentary. Like, you know, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. All, uh, we're all loving it. With Harlan, but like, like I, I, I don't know. I was, I was speaking to one of the boys in work and we were saying, obviously he is incredible and he's done it at Dortmund. But Alex, if I dropped you, I'm asking Alex because I, I have a feeling I know his answer. It, if I dropped you into that City team... Yeah, how goals, no. How many goals a season would you score? Exactly. Well, we've we've spoken about this, and like you, you could if if you dropped anybody, you could drop a Jack Russell into that City team. Just stick a Jack Russell up front, and it you, you know it bag at least five One. goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
they, 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 you know, it doesn't matter who you've got up top, you're going to score. So I think that there is, there is a certain element of that, but I don't know. Haaland with, oh, with Ronaldo, different, different le- yeah, I was going to say Ronaldo's kind of like making his, I was going to talk about him a bit later on. Um, but it's it's clear to see he's in like the twilight of his career, which is a bit. It's, what I'm not what I like about it is like the fact that there's people who are like you know these ones who like support Ronaldo. They don't support the team. They support Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah. And they're like digging up facts about him. Like, oh, do you remember that season though when he got like six against Getafe or something? <laughs> like you know, like when Pele like. Pele just invents goals that he scores. Yeah, whenever, I'm sorry, Pele. No, him. there is no That's, way yeah. Pele scored a thousand goals. I am, I am. Yeah, yeah. That is the biggest myth in football. He did not. Yeah. He was scoring against like fishermen. He just wasn't yeah. scoring goals. I'm sorry, but that was no. I don't know how we got onto Pele. I don't know how we did that. We were fanboy in Harlem. Top goal Pele. scorer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we, we've, um, gone from, we've gone from Barnsley to Pele in like eight minutes. Just like watching Brazil, mate. That's our, <laughs> that's our chant. <laughs> well, I, I, how many do you reckon Harlem will get this season? I think he min. Things are you have to obviously take into account injuries, and then I think that he won't play when the Champions League comes round, and they've already pretty much won the league. There's no way he's playing. <laughs> like, there's no way he's playing in like February and March in Premier League. Yeah. But what also is like that Alvarez is really good as well. And no one's noticed it mm, because yeah. Haaland's been so good. I think he gets if if he stays fit, it's a minimum forty. That is really? a disrespect wow. to the establishment. I'm sorry, complete disrespect to the establishment. You discuss an opinion, horrible opinion. What forty? Shout, shout out to talks, but that was a talksport reference. What? None of you got that. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't get Terrible. Re- Do you know what? Rent, to be honest, no, no, that's no. not. I know. I completely. Uh, did none of you see that talksport thing? No. What was it? No. I'm not going to get into no. it then because you know what? That was very embarrassing. Let's just move on. <laughs> Pretend I did not. Somebody listening will have got that. They'll yeah, really I, I, that, I, yeah. I really hope so. I really hope so. Someone would have. <laughs> Someone would have. You know, just for you. Um, there we go. So we, we've done Haaland. I think we should move on to Ronaldo now. 700 club goals. Um, yeah. In a nutshell, Pete, greatest of all time? Yeah, probably. No. I mean, because, because oh, okay, no, here's my argument. Here's my argument on why. Because obviously the stats with him and Messi are so close. But it comes down to Champions Leagues and uh, and international tournaments. The fact is, Messi has more chance to win international tournaments the last two years. And the, arg- the argument that I always that I was going with, like when people say, oh, well, who's the better watch? But if I was choosing who's the better ro- watch, then Ronaldinho is the best player of all time. Yeah. By that argument. Oh, then. Like, no, then. Yeah. Or Lee Trundle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, throw his hat in the ring. We'll get, we'll, be, we'll, get to, we'll get the third Swansea player in by the end. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> yes, but that's no, three. that's that's a fantastic point you're making. And I was when you were talking about you know trophies and you know career goals and blah 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 blah. I kind of thought to myself, well, is that football? What is football? And then you sort of highlighted Ronaldinho, and I thought, okay, right, because like I I completely agree with the best football player. I've seen, I, I, you know, obviously you've got, you know, your Rivalinos from the past, blah, 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 all those players, Rivaldo, the Brazilian mm. greats. Um, but for me, the greatest football player I ever saw play a game, because I didn't see too much of him, I was quite young, but Ronaldinho, like you said. Um, Messi is, you know, a parallel with him as far as football. And I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo is, oh, this is going to sound terrible, and I don't mean this any disrespect towards Cristiano Ronaldo but as a football player with the ball at his feet I don't know if I'd get excited as much as if I saw Messi or Ronaldinho not, yeah not these days 2008 you would yeah when he, may, may, United, mm, you would. When he was running at people and when it was like but also like even his later career like he was he can just jump higher than other people yeah, yeah he's he's a supreme athlete unbelievable. Yeah. I think I think he's the greatest athlete ever to yeah. grace planet earth we, we'll, I, we'll I, never I, see anyone better than him like I and I, I stand by that like, like you've got like Michael Phelps Michael Jordan you saying both you know, the whole, yeah I think yeah. Ronaldo is the greatest athlete ever to play any sport and I think he'll go on playing for a lot longer than people give him credit for like he'll go I don't know where he'll go next but he won't go to straight to America he'll finish his career in America I think yeah, but I, so. I think he'll go to like I don't know France or Germany or somewhere before I think sport, sport, sporting seems like just the, the natural place for me 
Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose that. Though, yeah. that yeah. yeah, I suppose you're right. But I, I don't know. I think he's got such a big for like. I uh, there's a part of me that thinks he, he wants to sell some more underpants or something. You know, <laughs> do you know what I mean? He wants to get, you know he, break I the American market. To win, uh, wants to win a couple more things as well for sure. Yeah, I think I think it's killing him being this, in this. I think his mentality means that when when he does finish as well, I think he's going to really struggle with it. Yeah, yeah, that I that is something really I, I was with it. I was thinking about that in work. Like he's he's such a like a winner. He's so driven. Do you think he'll go into management? I I, I think it'll be like a Thierry Henry where like you go into management, but like you know when you can't deal with the fact that someone can't do things can't that do you, what you can, can do. do. Like Henry was is famously like quite bad at it. Um, yeah, at the start, and then, like and obviously you look at other players who've like gone on. Like you know we look at Graham Potter's got Chelsea job now. Like and. Generally, it seems to be the worse football you are, yeah. the better you the, are the better at understanding manager, yeah. how the game works because you have to. Yeah, it's not just God-given talent; you have to exactly. like, basically have something else. I jumped a mile, then. I th- <laughs> I genuinely thought your house was haunted. Yeah, For those of you listening on Spotify or something, a cat just appeared out of absolutely nowhere, <laughs> and I absolutely. Popped myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a black cat as well. <laughs> okay. I like how we're introducing yeah. the football world to, to the word pup as well. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Sorry, everyone. I'm a big fan of that. Um, <laughs> no, I, I agree. I think Ronaldo's just like, I, I think he'll struggle with it. I don't see him going into coaching. I really don't. I, Is I it just... a punditry job then? Is he going to be no, like Gary Neville? I don't Neville. know if he's got that though. I don't I know what don't he know. Can... I think that'll be his problem. I don't think he'll know what he wants to do. He's gonna go I'll into golf or something, isn't he? Doing he just, notes, yeah. He, I think he'll go into golf. Gareth Bale will 100 percent go into golf. Oh yeah, he's 100%. he's destined for golf. I think Ronaldo will be like a Beckham, where he's he's an ambassador for a lot of things. He yeah. might just like buy a team in Portugal. That's a shout. Like, yeah, that's that's a shout. For a laugh. I was gonna say, there we go. Yeah, yeah he'll call create it like Cristiano yeah. FC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he will call it out for himself. The he? badge is just his face. It's just it's. But not his face. It's the the terrible like bust he had yeah, done of him. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just purely for banter, <laughs> and I rate it. Yeah, definitely. Coaches Ronaldo, strikers Ronaldo, chairman yeah. Ronaldo can never get sacked. Kitman yeah. Ronaldo, <laughs> scout is Ronaldo, <laughs> just everything like. Um, and then they get Nani on board as assistant manager. Yeah, Nani and Kresma, yeah. just because. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, right from Manchester to Liverpool. Um, I want to chat about uh, Klopp and his sort of job security, maybe. Um, personally, I can't see him getting getting the hook. Uh, Pete, what what are you thinking? Are you thinking Klopp's the man to dig Liverpool out? Or do you I think? think, yeah, I think so. I think like it, it's this, uh, you know, I, I think most actual Liverpool fans who who go to the match that you actually speak to are pretty like reasonable. But the one they're not the ones that you see on social media shouting. You know what I mean? Like, and I think you've just got a. Apparently, he, do, he, ha, he does have this thing where after seven years it goes quite badly. Yeah. So what mine? Yeah. Seven years in, they got relegated. Now, admittedly, not many managers can have this because not many get seven years in the job. But mm. mine's they got they got relegated in the seventh year. Dortmund didn't get Europe and didn't get Champions League in his seventh year, and then this is now the seventh year. Now, obviously, it's just something that people, you know, it's it's an interesting tidbit to have a chat with. But I I find the idea of moving him on from the point point of view is ridiculous. And you know, when like modern fans complain that players and managers have got no loyalty anymore, but also sure. they're the same people who, as soon as something goes wrong, what want to move to them on. So why would you show loyalty? Like Jordan Henson and James Milner are getting so much shit. And you're just like, like trying to move monks. They're not good enough anymore. And you're like, well, why should they? Why should football ever show you loyalty? If the minute that they're not performing to a highest level, you want to get rid of them. It makes sense to me. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Um, there are there are certain fans within the uh, Swansea circle. There's our third Swansea point. <laughs> that uh, we, we had. They were very vocal about just, our manager. I'm just gonna go and turn my camera off. <laughs> uh, look, things things don't go your way sometimes. Things don't go your way. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> but uh, no, I completely agree. If you know, you you, I I wouldn't get if I was a Liverpool fan, I would not get rid of Klopp. I I really wouldn't get rid of Klopp at all. Who comes in? You knob. <laughs> yeah. Shit, my head getting up. Yeah. No, no. Comment, I I no I wouldn't get rid of Klopp. 
if I was if I was making the decision because I can't see who you're going to bring in. Exactly, who's, you can't available? do it. If there's not a better, if you, if, unless you can say there is a better option that we can get, what's that's, the point? That's exactly, it's not even a case of who you bring in, who you bring in to make things better because I can't see Z- Zidane is available now. No, I don't I don't, I don't see how that works, no. No, I think Pochettino, I don't think Pochettino's good enough myself. Um, I don't know who else is available. What are you going to get? Well, everyone, the the thing, the plan was for Steven Gerrard to be doing oh, wonders at yeah, Aston Villa, yeah, wasn't it? Exactly, then, yeah, that's, that was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. And all their fans want him gone. Yeah. 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 But that's that's the thing. Is, is Scotland then, just to, you know, move away from this point, is Scotland a really good telltale sign of how well a manager is going to do then? I think as, as much as a championship. I don't even think it's as good as the championship, if I'm being honest. I think the, the, I, I, the, I the football I, I, isn't, I don't think, but maybe at the top level. It's, it's a difficult one because I, I think maybe it just came a bit too early for him. Like, I think, I know they're struggling now, but I think Rodgers has done really well at Leicester. And okay, he did well at Swansea, got his move to Liverpool, did quite well for that one season. But I mean, it, it was just. The truth is, it, let's be honest. The, the truth like, is, with Liverpool. Celtic, no, I was going to say with Liverpool, I think he was he was a, he was a bit stuck to be honest because Liverpool was still in their phase where they were transitioning. Yeah. So I don't think we can really judge him too well on that. But he went to Celtic, played his trade, and when he was red, he came back to the Premier League and has like, yeah. you know, done, but Rogers, done quite well for Leicester. But Rogers won like everything at a canter, and it was sexy, and it was like every trophy being won. He won, you know, he won it with Rangers and fair dues and all that. But then like. He, I think he needs to do a championship job before you move up to the Premier League. And I think yeah. the championship gets so little disrespect in terms of the standards that it is now. I think I don't I just think I just think people just don't watch it enough. And they assume uh, yeah. it's rubbish. This... And it's actually unbelievable. It's better. If you watch Premier League years, the championship is better than the nineties, early nineties Premier League. I I guarantee you. No, I I, I completely I think a lot of championship football now is better than some Premier League games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that was the point I was going to make because we, you know, we all support sides who aren't in the Premier League. I enjoy watching the Swans much more. On I've said this a number of times on this part. I've I've enjoyed watching them a lot more now that we've been relegated because of the standard of football. Because we haven't got things like VAR. Because we haven't got you know all these other things. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. standard of referee. And I'm not going to lie, that's a bit poor. And you know, I I don't know what it's like for you watching watching Barnsley, but for us, I I much prefer it. At the minute, anyway, I'm not going to say no to the Premier we'll, League. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the fact that when when you when you're playing three o'clock on a Saturday, obviously. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, there's there's no sort changes. of Monday night, Friday night, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. three o'clock. You know what you're doing. I I like that as well. I'm not going to lie. I do like that too. I think it's just like we always said we got relegated last season. We we're just like. But we all like had a chat after. Was like, well, what changes? We're still going to go to the match. We're still all going to sit at the same place. We're still going to mess yeah. each other in the morning and say who's going. You know what I mean? Like, it, this whole idea of football is all about winning is absolutely ridiculous. Because if it was, it wouldn't have as many people interested in it because yeah. only one team can win. That's how I yeah. felt when we lost. We, we lost the playoff final. I was gutted this year because I can't stand Brentford. Um, yeah, the last one, you know, the last yeah, one yeah. we were in. Oh. But. I was sort of like, we would have got spanked in the Premier League. Like, we really yeah. would have. We would have yeah. been up with Steve Cooper, who's doing an okay job of Forest. I know they're in the bottom three, but look how much they've spent. We would never have spent that. Enough. Yeah. We would have been absolutely bent over every single week. You had some big loans as well, everything. didn't you? Like, yeah. Like, Gay was there, wasn't he? Yeah, Gary. Like, yeah. Gay, like Gay, if, you, if you get Gay in, how much is he going to... You can't buy a player of that quality. No. Yeah, like, didn't one, have, didn't have the funds. no one would. Yeah, but yeah, no, I I completely agree with you. And like you say, for, you know, it's, it's, you don't want to go to the ground and lose. And I I was like that when I was going to I was going to Wembley uh, to watch the Swans in the playoff final. And I was on my way there, and the closer I got, like I started off, and I was like, I don't care, I'm just happy to go. Yeah, if yeah, we yeah. lose, I wasn't expecting to win. I thought, okay, whatever. Closer we got, and by the time we got on the ground, I was like, I, we can't lose this. But then after we lost, you thought. You know, we, we weren't going to win anyway if we did go up. So it's it's like you said, you're still going to enjoy watching your club. You're still going to go there. You're still going to, you know, it, it's it's going to carry on. But yeah, it doesn't change anything. I will no. not. It will not change my Saturday routine in the slightest. Exactly. Yeah. The tickets might be slightly cheaper. 
that's about it really yeah yeah i know what yeah. you mean yeah. but yeah no totally that's, that was a very that was a very nice well-rounded point i like that it was yeah. it was i don't know how we started off with Klopp and came to that but i love it it's what we yeah. love we love a little tangent on sending off um <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, is, it is what we are we're renowned for amongst our our eight listeners uh, <laughs> that's, that's quite general actually it's yeah, it's just right, isn't it? that's a good week um <laughs> i think um i think we'll i think we'll round it off there we've uh we've done on um, 25 minutes half hour ish cool uh, like it was some sort of sentence <laughs> yeah you know well we've, we've done our half hour pete's done his time now he's done yeah his yeah time yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> You're a at proper end, comedian now, Pete. <laughs> about to say, at the, end, at the end of the day, lads, you know, Bake, bake Off is on. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, right. There we are. Yeah. So um, we'll, uh, we'll leave you guys to it. Pete, do you, want to, uh, do you want to tell everyone where they can find you, maybe on social media, come and see some gigs or whatever? Uh, yeah, social media. I've got, um, I've got like a radio show coming out, um, which is like called What's Wrong With You. It's like a disability po- uh, panel show, which is quite cool. Um, we don't know what where it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere. And... Uh, yeah, just follow me on social media. I won't even bother you. I won't even tweet. Just follow me. <laughs> Fair enough. Because yeah. my agent, can't ask for more, can you? my agent gives me bother. So I just say, just follow me, and I promise I won't bother you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what more could you ask for, guys? Yeah, 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 exactly. Do what the man told you, and uh, <laughs> we'll uh, follow us while you're there as well. We we might tweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, we might we might bother you a bit. Uh, we might bother you a little bit, but uh, we'd appreciate a follow. Go visit our website and buy one of these lovely hoodies as well. As models, well, you got the merch, yeah. We do merch as well. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I'll I'll level with you, Pete. It's, it's not selling very well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam is our only customer. I am, I legit... no, no, we're not. Oh, hang on, no, couple. yeah, we, we have got, got a couple. couple. No, yeah, we've got a couple. I know they look couple. warm though, and like are, you know, it is very warm. I don't know if you've been looking at your smart meter recently, but <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. obsessed yeah. with mine, so I, yeah, that looks good. It looks a good product. It is, it, buy yeah. send him off merch to save yourself money. There we that go. is our yeah. plug. It's an investment. Dave, yeah, exactly. There I'm we go. Make a poster for that. No. Yeah, I'm I was. I was going to say tonight. That's how we're going to sell. Gonna, yeah, exactly. No other alternative. <laughs> Thank you, Liz Truss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Liz Words Truss, I so, never expected you to say. <laughs> one one hoodie at a time. Uh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see you next week, guys. Uh, we've got uh, who have we got next week? Paul Cooper's back next week. Actually, yeah, Paul Cooper. Uh, our good old friend Paul Cooper, IKA. Martin Mucklow Martin from Mucklow. this country, who we uh, we chatted to in the summer. We loved that, and uh, he's oh, coming cool. back to tell us what football means to him, which we are very, 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 very excited for. So, um, we'll and so should you guys. be. Yes, you should be. You should be. And if you're not, take a long, hard look at yourself. Exactly, yeah. In the mirror, <laughs> right. preferably with a send him off hoodie on. <laughs> 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 but uh, we'll see you next week guys thank you for listening follow us on everything drop us a little five star review as well if you did enjoy if you didn't enjoy just go about your business please and uh, we'll see you next week ta take care